Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, welcome to our today's biology lesson. Uh, we continue with our topic of discussion, uh, transport in animals. So today, I would like us to discuss open circulatory system. Uh, during the last lesson, uh, we discussed that uh, there are two types of circulatory system. Uh, the first one is open circulatory system and we have closed circulatory system. So first of all, uh, open circulatory system is commonly found in invertebrates. Invertebrates, uh, e.g. arthropods. Uh, arthropods are things like insects, things like arachnids, things like crustaceans. All those are members of the phylum Arthropoda. So these ones have an open circulatory system. And in this case, or the, in the open circulatory system, uh, the transport fluid, the transport fluid is called a hymo lymph. The transport fluid is called hymo lymph and it flows it flows within the general body cavity within the general body cavity called hymocoil. So hymocoil, sorry, this is a spelling. So hymocoil is the general body cavity in which uh, the hymolymph flows. So the hymolymph is the fluid, but the space in which that fluid flows is called hymocoil. Now. Uh, I would want us to have an example uh, because you said that uh, it's common in arthropods, for instance, in insects. So we'll take an example of an insect such as uh, a cockroach and have a simplified diagram. Uh, so the first part is a tube and uh, this tube is the heart. Consisting of several chambers. So for instance, in a cockroach the heart is made up of 13 chambers. So these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And some of the chambers, three of them are in the thorax, while majority of the, same, uh, the chambers, that is 10, are in the abdomen. Now, each of those chambers has an opening, uh, has an opening through which uh, the transport fluid, which is hymolymph, enters the heart. So those openings, one is called the ostium. Ostium or ostia in plural. When it is one, it's called the ostium. When there are many, uh, they are called ostia. Then uh, below the heart, there's a membrane and this membrane, we refer to it as the pericardial membrane. So basically, we are discussing the structure of the open circulatory system in a cockroach. So we can just indicate here uh, that uh, this is an open circulatory system. 
in a cockroach. It's made up of those parts, basically. Uh, this uh, part that is here is the gut, of course, through which uh, uh, food or which forms the part of the digestive system. Uh, so on this, we are saying that uh, uh, the blood enters the heart through these openings and then it flows to the lower chambers. So basically, to explain that uh, uh, diagram, we can say that uh, the open circulatory system of a cockroach has a dorsal tubular heart. Dorsal means it is located at the back part of the body. That means dorsal. It is also a tube. It's also a tubular heart uh, consisting of 13 chambers. Consisting of 13 chambers. And uh, three chambers are in the thorax. while 10 are in the abdomen. Uh, the transport fluid, which in this case we are calling the hymolymph, hymolymph enters the heart through openings called, okay, you can see because it enters the heart uh, through openings called ostia. And you say that ostium is the singular. This hymolymph contains mainly white blood cells and some pigments, some pigments. And of course, uh, the, uh, the white blood cells, uh, these are responsible for immunity. Uh, something that is uh, slightly different from other animals is that uh, uh, in an insect, uh, the, hymo, the hymolymph, which is now the equivalent of blood, uh, is not for transportation of gases, such as oxygen and carbon dioxide. Those ones are transported in another system that is known as the tracheal system. So it's good to note that uh, uh, hymolymph, does not transport oxygen and carbon four oxide like other animals, but these are transported in an independent system. that is called tracheal system. So this tracheal system, we shall discuss it in more details uh, when we learn about gaseous exchange. So that one will be discussed in another, in another topic. Uh, so basically, uh, we've said that uh, uh, the hymolymph enters 
uh, the chambers of the heart through the openings that we are call we are calling ostia and then of course uh, uh, those ostia they have an outlet on the lower side and then again that cycle is repeated until uh, uh, there is complete circulation of hymolymph within the entire uh, uh, body of the insect. In this case, we are saying that uh, this flow is within the body cavity. Uh, so we can also indicate here that uh, there is flow within body cavity. That blood is not in closed vessels. It is in open uh, uh, cavities. Now, uh, basically that is what happens in an open circulatory system. And uh, it's also good to mention, it's also good to mention that uh, in open circulatory system, the flow is at a lower pressure. The flow is at a lower pressure. And this is what makes uh, the insects or the arthropods to be less active. And this makes the animals less active. So they are less active compared to those that have a closed circulatory system. Also on the same, uh, the hymolymph, which is the fluid, is in direct contact. Is in direct contact uh, with the tissues. With the tissues. So the fluid is in direct contact with the tissues. As you can see, it is flowing within the general body cavity. There is no restriction. So they are just in direct contact. So for that, we'll stop there. And we'll have a short assignment on the open circulatory system. So the first question, name three classes uh, in phylum arthropoda that have an open circulatory system. Arthropoda, we start with a capital letter. It's a taxonomic unit. Uh, name three classes in phylum arthropoda that have an open circulatory system. Number two, name the transport fluid A and B the body cavity in the open circulatory system in a cockroach. So we'll stop there. Until next time, goodbye.